What's up old school homies? I want to show you guys my Squire Area 51 guitar. I've always wanted one of these and they're very collectible, especially amongst us Squire collectors. So to find one in the trash was like a present under the Christmas tree for me. I got it in the vintage blonde finish, which I've always admired. They, have Telecasters in the classified line with this color and it looks really good because you could see a little bit of the wood grain under there but not much so it's somewhat clear but somewhat creamy there's only one little chip in it and it looks cool you know like it's a real chip it's got a belly cut <laughs> it's kind of like a nice weight it's about the weight of a Strat, maybe a little bit heavier because like the body's like a little bit bigger. It's got a hardtail bridge, top loader, and the strings would have the balls underneath these little holes right here. So it doesn't go through the body. <laughs> it's tuning stable and it's proven. It, people like those. It, it's got a split coil humbucker. I don't know what they did to my knobs over here, but for not playing this guitar, they kind of destroyed little pieces of it, like that. I don't, that. I don't know why they took the pickup cover off here. What is up with that? Now the humbucker is just kind of floating around in there. Kids and their mods, you know. I would actually leave this thing alone. It's actually a really nice guitar as it is. It has a perfectly straight neck. And you can usually tell if you look down the rails, it's not warped, it's perfectly straight. The Kelly neck, these are rare, dude. This was an earlier run, and they are vintage now, like, even if they're not that old. They only made them from 2003 to 2006. Then in 2013, Fender actually made a reissue for their Pawn Shop series. And that went from 2011 to 2013. Now I think the Fender Squire took it back. Because this is an original Squire design. They took it back. And they're making it until the present time. Because this is a, a modding guitar that a lot of people like to change the parts out on. You know, the die-cast tuners could probably be improved upon. Maybe a bone nut. Um, some different pickups if you wanted different pickups. Um, this looks like it has upgraded saddles. Those are nice looking saddles. So, looks like he started modding it slightly. What else can I say about the uh, Area 51? These actually sold for pretty cheap when they came out. Only about 100 bucks, maybe 150 bucks when they weren't on sale. But, hey, they give you a real Tele-neck C profile shape, which everybody likes, a square heel. They fit up real tight. This one doesn't even have finish checking. So, yeah, you'll have, like, a guitar that has good bones, you know, a face wood body. A medium jumbo frets. It's pretty standardized. Like, you would have a Tele shaped neck on a base wood body that's real solid fits up real tight you got a top loader bridge that ain't gonna fall out of tune because it it's not a floyd rose you put some good tuners a nice bone nut good strings on this and good saddles i guess that would be a nice mod maybe some string trees it looks like uh it's got the stock string trees those are those are okay Skunk stripe, dude. You don't throw away the skunk stripe. <laughs> Any guitar with the skunk stripe is made well, you know. Like, dude, I'm happy to have it. Like, I'm really happy to have it. 